Welcome to a new planetary and seismic update. Today is February 27th, 2023, and the first week of March is going to be very critical. Before I go into a detailed analysis of the first week of March, first let's have a look at what we had in the last couple of days. We had a planetary conjunction on the 24th, that was the Purple Peak, and we estimated some seismic increase, not that much, uh, around the 25th, 26th as a result. And on the 25th, we had two strong earthquakes, a 6.1 in Japan and a 6.2 at uh, the New Britain region, Papua New Guinea. These areas were also marked by atmospheric fluctuations that we recorded on the 21st. They were the only significant atmospheric fluctuations, actually. Now let's have a look at the first week of March. On the 2nd, we see a convergence of critical planetary geometry. This is going to be very significant. And also on the 4th and 5th, we see some critical planetary geometry. That's the purple peak in particular. So let's go over this critical planetary geometry. On the 1st, we have Mercury, Sun and Mars in a conjunction. And that will be followed early on the 2nd by Earth, Venus and Jupiter in a conjunction. Within nine hours, there will be another planetary conjunction also involving Earth, and that will be Earth, Mercury and Saturn. And this is going to be critical. This convergence with Earth involved, both planetary conjunctions, that's going to be very critical. And we could see a major to great seismic event as a result, possibly around the 3rd or 4th, but it could also be around the 6th, 7th with the full moon. So let me explain. We have another planetary conjunction, and that will be exact on the 5th. That will be Mars, Venus, and Saturn. This is also a critical planetary conjunction with Venus in the middle. And it will be exact on the 5th, but it will already be very close in the conjunction around the 2nd, where we already have a convergence of critical planetary geometry. And altogether makes the first week of March extremely critical. Again, we could see a major to great seismic event as a result. It could be mid-7, but also well above magnitude 8. I'm not exaggerating here. I'm not trying to create fear. This is a warning because the critical planetary geometry that we see here is known to cause major to great seismic events. And we should not underestimate it. So this Mars-Venus-Saturn conjunction is already very close in the conjunction around the second. So if we consider the second, we actually have four planetary conjunctions converging. Now, it may not be just one single larger seismic event. It could be uh, multiple uh, seismic events well above magnitude 6 in this first week of March. And we actually could be dealing with two scenarios here. Either we're going to have the largest seismic event around the 3rd or 4th, just following the critical planetary geometry on the 2nd, or, and then maybe also some seismic increase after the 5th, that will be around the 6th, 7th at the time of full moon, or we could see an additional seismic increase around the 3rd, 4th, and then the largest seismic event following the planetary geometry on the 5th, and it will be around the 6th, 7th with the full moon. There's no way to know. But the first week of March is going to be critical, extremely critical. Again, we could see a seismic event well over 7, maybe well over 8 magnitude. If we look at atmospheric fluctuations, that could give us some idea where larger seismic activity may occur. It is not perfect, but it could be an in important indicator. We picked up two fluctuations, or actually a couple of fluctuations, on the 25th. And the first was, uh, or actually marked, the west coast of North America, and also uh, the Kermadec Trench. And, uh, but that fluctuation was a bit vague, it was not very convincing. But nonetheless, uh, a much more obvious fluctuation marked the West Pacific again, uh, from Kamchatka, uh, the Kuril Islands in Japan in the north, over the Philippines, and also marking uh, Sulawesi, Halmahera, uh, maybe even the Banda Sea, Indonesia. It could become significant uh, for the 3rd or 4th of March, because if we count uh, about six days from the 25th, we would end up at that time, roughly. This is a possibility. Maybe there will be additional fluctuations in the next few days. If that's the case, we will keep you updated. Again, the first week of March will be very critical, and we could see a major to great seismic event. Now, this is something to be on extra alert. If you are in an earthquake-prone area, you always need an earthquake plan. 
There's no doubt about that. So no matter any forecast, uh, you have to have an earthquake plan that when the ground starts shaking, you know what to do and you know to get out of your house or the building very quickly. That will be life-saving. In addition, with critical planetary geometry, as we have, we're going to have in the first week of March, we can be on extra alert. This is the update for now. Stay safe. Until next time.